So the boy asked me to come and help him out with a tree job here. <laughs> it's quite a gong show, actually, which I figured it would be. <laughs> well, we're kicking over here now. And now we're gonna... So I need to here check... Here we are. So Chris from Adair, our good man. Good. We're just down on site here, and I've just never seen this... Uh... And then engage the, uh, the clutch. That little pin lock thing to, to hold it at 2500 that's right okay and and, and, and it <laughs> it's, it's a pretty uh reliable machine so here's our situation it ain't pretty lean and alders uh there is a drop zone which is nice uh I'm gonna climb because time's kind of a factor for us here. But look at us. We're down in this freaking hole uh, that once again, the four by four, just, just a dream with that front hitch on it, friends. Uh, you know what I mean? It's just, why, why suffer? Good day, my friends, men, women, and children. There has been studies in scientists and all that crazy stuff that I know nothing about, universities, that people who are physically active, outdoors, sweating, heart pounding, building muscle in your heart and in your body, mind, and spirit are less susceptible to the common cold viruses and illnesses friends if you're feeling unbalanced this is a message to all human beings but more so men in our makeup fellas friends brothers we were made to be physical we, we were it's in our makeup god made us that way and if we have a job indoors or if we have a job that doesn't require us to be physical, find something that is fulfilling to do. Uh, the gym sometimes, treadmill stuff, I could never do. That's why axes are, are, are my saving grace. Put in some labor somewhere, grab a freaking shovel and dig a ditch in the rain, roll around in a mud puddle, some kind of stuff to get that balance. You'll be a nicer fella to talk to, to your family, to your friends, and, and everybody. It, it's part of our balance, brothers. Okay, here's the deal, friends. I don't, I haven't done a job like this in quite some time. It's not that big of a deal, but it is heavy material hitting the ground. Uh, here's the tree. It, it actually is quite large. It's a big, it's a Kodom alder. It's quite big. Uh, there is a drop zone. Uh, mind you, there's fences and ornamentals and, and sheds. So it's not just a flip flop and fly show. It, it just isn't. A guy could really climb up that tree right there hang a rigging rope, but now he's rigging over top of his shed where he could go up the left stem. So find your spot, find your spot in the tree. What makes the most sense to climb, tie in, you know, and then hang a rigging point. I'm gonna rig everything off of one point. I don't wanna be changing my rigging points. That just doesn't make sense. I mean, I may have to because there's a leader. See that little leader? It takes off out there I don't know how much footage we're going to get, friends. Actually, that's a bad one, that one, actually. I may... I don't know what I'll do with that. I'll figure it out. It's just these two front stems that are coming off. But they're big. And they're leading out. So then, then what happens is you're actually fighting gravity all the time. So it's nice to have a tie-in behind you. So I'm going to. 
I'm gonna go up that freaking thing back there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I might as well. I don't even mind. You know what? To me, that's not even a big deal, son. I might go up, just climb that freaking thing over there. Yeah, it's, it's leaning pretty heavy, but. I know, but I, I don't really care. It, it's, it. by the time I get up there and tie it in or rappelled over, I'll have half the tree stripped. Yeah. You know what I mean, son? Yeah. At what, what is it? You suck it up for what, half an hour? Not even? It's on the ground. I might come, Sonny, there's two ways to do this. I work with you gingerly or I slam that sucker down, come out of the freaking tree and help you out. We got two ways to do it. So if you're doing that, but I just stack brush and make chip. Yeah, but I think what we'll do is it it's alder. So if you're gonna be if you're gonna slam it, I don't wanna be chipping as we go, because I'm not gonna be able to keep No, it. you won't be. That's that's not the plan for that. So what we're gonna do is because you can see all the leaders, you really can crack this stuff in half, son. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, firewood chunk to the left, that can be Cause you got to work with the chipper. So you won't be here with me. You see, no. you see what I mean? Well, so, unless like you're saying, I could just make a pile and then we could chip a pile. I think you should almost drag it back as it hits the floor. Cause they're all going to hit flat. Just drag it back out like a big splay, son. Okay. Keep it out of your feet. And then just once you get there, And then I'll do this one. I'll, I'll stay up there. Yeah. Stack it, buddy. Literally stack it all right here. All this, just grab it by the tips, get another chip. Keep your zone clean. Yeah. So if there's a limb sticking out, just whack it and make a huge stack right here. Okay. Doesn't that make sense? So then you'll come down and help me chip? Yeah, or after this is gone. Down. After all of this is gone, okay. both stems. So we'll just do it like we always do. Yeah. Okay. Don't you think that's the way to go? Yeah, that's kind of what I do. Because that allows me to keep working, son. Yeah, I'm just gonna build a chipper up. Okay. Yeah, good idea. So that's the plan. We, we got a plan. Make a plan. I'm just going to stay up in the trees, but Hogan's not going to play around with that chipper because it's not a chuck and duck. And we have to actually work with the chipper. So we're at the mercy of our, our machine. Do you understand, friends? We're at the mercy of the machine. So if this was a different machine where you could just throw a limb at it and walk away, we would probably fire that machine up. But it's a daintier machine than that. It can't, you can't, it won't take it. You have to work with it and nurse it. Yeah, it's got the feeds. It's got it'll. You, you have to stop it, or it'll choke it out and die. That's the way it is. It's an older machine. It's a beautiful runner. So that's what we're gonna do. So in saying that, in saying that, I think that might be my spar tree, and then I'll flip over to this one. So I got this job. It's this alder cluster. We're taking out these two leaders that are coming, coming out, and we're taking that thing out. We've rented, or not rented, just went before with Chipper, which is awesome. And uh, Buckin's climbing this one, because cause why not? It's been a while. All right, I better get busy. Little brush pile there. Oh, no, it's getting hooked. Oh, no, it's getting hooked out. Very nice. There we go. Oh, there's top. Here she comes. Nice. Utilize your space. Nice one. There we go, we got the chipper going. Bucket's gonna do a little tree transfer here. Nimble old man. Don't let him hear me say that. Look at that. She fucking.
Hop. Fogging up. So up, this up. alder thing. It's uh probably the worst part of the job actually because it's right over the shed. So you'll see friends, he's got a tie in there and a tie in there. He's almost on a V. Here, Working, that's easier. Than, two that's easier than craning my neck. Now catch it on YouTube. <laughs> This will be kind of neat too. This will be an interesting rig. It's going to be a double top dy line hitch. Dynamic kind of. It's going to be a double top dy line hitch. Dynamic kind of. So he's got one end of his lifeline up there, and then the line that he, the end that he started with up there, and we're going to attack this thing. Okay, Cause be that's right up. there. I should almost be able to. Oh, he's got her. Billy Ray's got her. That's the thumbnail right there. Okay. Okay, you need to pull. Slack, buddy. Okay. I need you nice and tight and I need you to stay on it. Okay. okay, I'm gonna stop this right here. This plan would have worked. I mean it worked great, but it would it was not the plan was for it to go back to the spar tree over on the right. See that little nub that redirected my rigging line? It just hooked in there. Which, if that had done what I wanted it to do, it would have just slid out and come beautifully and just tickled past that shed lovelily. And it that little nub caught me. Snip your nubs when you're rigging. Buck on. All right, now that we got that dealt with, he's just gonna start going again. I'm gonna fire the chipper up and chip as we go.
Friends, this has been a great job. Uh, we, we've enjoyed it. We, we bust out the power saws here now and, and get into some... Uh, the 66 that's back from Iron Horse is quite a saw, actually. We, we do a little side-by-side -side here. This video might get long, but it was kind of a longer job, and there's lots going on. So I may bust it in two. I'm not sure. Let's just keep rocking. Just a warning. Ganji's got his 66 back. He's excited. This is actually a nice... It's, it starts really nice, this saw.
Now, we'll you done good on that one, Harv. What's Harvey, that? You done good on that song. Yeah, Harvey, you done you done yeah. real good on that. Harvey, that's Hogan. That thing feels different. Yeah. Oh, it's a totally new saw. Yeah, it, there was. Totally it, new. We sent it back to Harvey because we love Harvey. I, I, I'm not a picky guy, or or a guy likes to complain, and Norris, but boy, there was something. Yeah, and Harvey knew it, and he was good enough to take it back. And he trusts me that if I say something's up, I'm not just yanking his chain. There was something up, and now there's something else up. Yeah. We're gonna show you. <laughs> there's not, well, you know, there's something else up, but up as in thumbs up. Friends, I want to show you guys a little something when it gets down to this. The this. It, it, it's so, we all know what it's like bucking something like that. I couldn't even imagine what you do with a small. What me and Bear Claw used to do is use the top and saw, son. Oh, yeah. And just one hand it. Yeah. That's but probably the way to go. It is. But here's a way to do it. Whenever I see a guy go walking over to a pile like that with a power saw, with a 28 or a longer bar, this is what I do for him. Son, you're going to underbuck and I'm going to feed you wood. So friends, me and the claw used to do this steady. Me and Hogan have only done this, honestly, friends, uh, maybe four or five times. So um, we don't have that. He's not comfortable with that. He thinks he's going to cut me, which is a good way to think. But when you trust each other and you are on the go, this is a good system. You're out of the rocks. It's it's very uh, fast, efficient. Um it's either that or a one-hand power saw and just lay it across your lap and start going. But this keeps you out of the rocks, flicking wood all over the place, and it just works together. That makes it simple on the saw, man. Just, just a technique I thought I'd share with you, friends. So it just keeps you out of the rocks. Uh, me and Hogan haven't done a lot of that together, so we haven't got it right down to a science. I've done it with other guys where we do it. Me and Bear Claws used to just do it lots. But once you get a deck of firewood, you can throw it on top. Everybody knows how hard that is when it gets small. Stuff's flicking all over the place. Kick back. See? Wood's flicking. friends thanks so much for hanging around with us on this one and, and watching us this was a fun job hogan picked this one up we're going to come back on this one and show you guys we're knock down the stems and carry on with the rest of the job a bit more rat racing with the power saws i love you all friends be kind <laughs>